Marvel Universe She-Hulk. She had one of these uh, comic little cardboard things that they're giving instead of a base. Which uh, it's really not too good in addition. The figure itself is really well made. They have a, a She-Hulk in a two-pack but this is the better one to get if you just want the solo release of the figure. It's like a shiny purple even though it's just painted on it's not sculpt detail. It's a nice shiny purple to that. It's her classic costume. This area painted on. The face sculpt is pretty good. I'm trying to show you the details here. And they put green highlights in the hair which is really nice. She also has two closed fists, which is pretty unique for the females in the line. The expression looks pretty serious. The head, you actually do get a good range of side to side, even with the hair here sculpted big. No up or down. Shoulders up well jointed. You do get the side to side, you get the up and down, you get the articulation at, at the top here. You actually get a double articulation at the elbow, which is unusual because for the females you don't see it too often, especially when you got the articulation up here. You got the wrist, you can spin it there. You got the upper articulation here and side to side. Nothing at the waist, but hips can go side to side, up and down, the upper articulation here. You got the double articulation at the knees. Right here at the boot area, you can spin it there. And not only do you get the up and down at the feet, you get side to side as well. Uh, this is definitely one of the more highly articulated women in the line. And has a full range of motion you could get. Would work well for those building a Hulk collection. So this is the green She-Hulk. And uh, I would recommend getting it for fans of the Hulk or Marvel Universe. Uh, if you could still find it. And uh, that's the review. Comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Hey She-Hulk, the West Coast Avengers need you. Let's go.